What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at a complete breakdown of Trials this weekend. So if you're looking for the map, loot and the flawless rewards, then this will be the video for you. Now if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. It is Friday once again inside Destiny 2 and with that we've seen Zer return and also Saint-14 has returned with Trials of Osiris. So if you're looking to find out everything you need to know about this weekend's event, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. First things first, be sure to head over to Saint-14 in the tower and grab the weekly Trials bounty. If you're not able to get three consecutive wins or more, this will allow you to get a Trials engram and at least get the reward from the third win if you're unable to get three consecutive wins. So if you struggle to get consecutive wins, be sure to grab this just to make sure you don't end up with no loot from the event. And with your trials bounties in hand and also your passage in your infantry, it's time to jump into the map this week. Now the map this week is Fragment. So we will return back to the Infinite Forest for trials in this weekend's event. Now sadly, I don't actually have a Crucible map for the map this weekend. However, this is one of the larger Crucible maps in the rotation. And with that in mind, Sniper Rivals will be out in force this weekend, but be prepared to face aggressive teams with shotguns as they can be very powerful and catch you off guard if they can get the early pick within your fire team. Now, as always, it is one of the larger maps, so be sure to make yourself aware of where the capture zone is because those cagey games that get drawn out are likely to end up here. So we know what the map is for this weekend, but what is the loot? What rewards do you get from this weekend's event? Well, for free wins this weekend, you can get your hands on the Scholar. This is a legendary kinetic scout rifle, a high impact frame, so slow firing and will deal high damage. And the weapon is more accurate when you are stationary and aiming down sights. Scout rifles aren't still in the strongest place inside Destiny 2, but with that being said, this can come with some pretty incredible rolls. Things like high caliber rounds and ricochet rounds can roll on here too. Full auto if you're looking for a PvE roll, but opening shot or quick draw if you're looking for the PvP one. Now, as always with a Trials weapon, it can roll with Celerity, the Trials intrinsic trait. However, Vorpal weapon is probably the perk of choice. And remember, if you're not able to get three consecutive wins, be sure to complete at least three wins as part of the Trials bounty to ensure you can get this from your Trials engram. And if you're able to get to five wins this weekend, you can get your hands on a brand new helmet. So if you're able to achieve five wins in total on your card, not necessarily consecutive wins, then a brand new helmet will be yours. So if you're still chasing down that collection badge and haven't got the full armor set, whether that be for your Warlock, Titan or Hunter, then you'll need to achieve just five wins this weekend to finally get your hands on that helmet you're after. Now, if you're able to get to seven wins with your fire team, you can get your hands on the gauntlets. So if you're looking for a new pair of arms, these are available this week. But in order to do that, you'll need to achieve seven wins in total on your trials passage. So much like with the helmet, if you're still chasing down those final armor pieces before the new set of trials armor next season, you'll need to achieve seven wins in total to get your hands on the gauntlets this week. Now, if you're able to achieve a flawless victory in this weekend's Trials event, you will get your hands on the Exiles Curse Adept. This is a legendary energy fusion rifle, although this time it's an adept version. This provides plus three stats across the board with a plus 10 in its masterwork column. Now, if you were fortunate enough to get the charge time adept mod from a previous week, you'll be in a position to equip this on the Exiles Curse Adept. That being said though, the actual adept mod for this week is adept stability, providing a plus 10 to any stability stat. So you can apply this once again to any trials adept weapon that you've currently earned so far. And finally, another thing to remember as well, if you're able to achieve a flawless passage, you have a chance to get your hands on the exotic sparrow and also the exotic ghost exclusive to trials of Osiris. And as you can see, they are very ornate and well worth the effort if you're able to achieve a flawless victory. So there we have it guys, that's gonna wrap up the trials reset for this week. Let me know how you found the video down below and let me know what loot you're able to get from this weekend's event as well. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here and wanna keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm gonna jump back into the game as always guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.